Hi guys, so I finished building the uh, Sherman and I've got a couple of models here just for scale purposes. This is uh, a bolt action figure and this is uh, an Imperial Guard Cadian from Games Workshop. Uh, so scale wise the guys fit really well together um, so I, I would think that if you were to use uh, bolt action models as stand-ins for Imperial Guard that would work really well but anyway, uh, they were just for scale, so we'll get rid of those now. This it went it went together really well. I was very happy with uh, how it went together. Um, I haven't attached yet the uh, top two hatches or the 50 caliber machine gun on the top because I don't know yet whether I'm going to be adding the uh, tank crew to this or not yet. Um, and if I want to add the tank crew, obviously I need the hatches to be open, not closed. Uh, and also, obviously, with the 50 cal machine gun, uh, if I put that on the top there, so there's a little little hole for it in the top there. If I put that on, there would need to be the guy, the gunner guy, probably standing at the back firing. Uh, but yeah, um, the only work that I really had to do on this, as far as mold lines go, were a little bit along this edge of the top piece same on this side I'll uh, see if I can yeah you can see there where I had to just shave off a tiny little mold line on the side there um, and on the cannon itself which um, they've made it so that the cannon will actually can be fixed in so that it will move uh, but yeah as far as the cannon goes uh, along each side of the cannon I had to shave it down a little bit just to get rid of the mold line there um, so I'll just, uh, just show you the turret it turns as well uh, what it's got on there is very much like the Games Workshop tanks and probably many others it's got the uh, just a little ring on the bottom with the two pins slightly off centre and that just uh, allows it to sit in place and then turn to lock so uh, yeah overall I uh, really like this little kit um, really quick and easy to put together partly because of the lack of mould lines and flashing but partly because there's just really not many pieces to it so uh, I think just looking at the uh, Thing here, I think 33 is the highest number. Like it's 35. There you go. So there's 35 pieces. There's actually uh, 37 because 39, 39 pieces because a couple of them are um, sort of doubles that are just numbered the same for ease. No, 38. I'm not sure anyway. Uh, 35, 38 ish pieces, which is, is really good. All of the tracks came in two pieces, which is good because you didn't have to faff about doing all the separate uh, links on the tracks. Uh, you don't get any or many extras with this. You get a little, uh, I think it's a view finder type thing rather than a searchlight, <laughs> so I don't think that's a searchlight, but it could be, maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but as far as optional, ex optional extras, uh, like sandbags or stowage or, or crew or anything like that, you do have to pick up the, the extra kits. But bolt action is really not that expensive anyway, uh, not compared to some other brands. So yeah, very good kit, really enjoyed putting it together. And uh, I'm actually really tempted to invest in some more bolt action stuff because I really like it it's uh, it's pretty cool and since I'm not a gamer at the moment I'm not sort of really into one particular game system so uh, but yeah I suppose just because you can see in the background I will just give you a little peek at uh, this guy completely unrelated to bolt action but uh, this is a Carnifex that as you can see has been a little bit chopped up and this is because he's going to be bursting out of the ground 
in a, a, a trench works diorama that I'm working on now uh, between uh, the other figures that I'm going to be using on it is going to be a, a unit of Tau Fire Warriors facing off against a, a squad of Cadians so uh, yeah this uh, that's the plan for the next diorama anyway but that's a bit of an aside for this video so uh, yeah there you go guys very pleased with it very good purchase um, and thank you for sending it out so early to Warlord Games because it's I don't suppose it it's not meant to be released until the 12th I think so I've got it a few days early and uh, I hope that this <laughs> I hope that the unboxing or this video doesn't get anybody fired over there if they've made a mistake and sent it out when it was not supposed to be but uh <laughs> anyway yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one